previously on Lost. You just see him walk up upon Charlie and Claire. And then Charlie, lo and behold, comes awake. All they wanted was Claire. Michael and Walt, you know, they're having like father-son trouble relationships. He's not listening to him, whatever. This video is Lost Part 13. It's an episode dedicated to Michael and Walt. It is the episode entitled Special. At the very beginning of the episode, Michael's looking for Walt because he's missing and he's wanting to know where he's at. Well, off in another part of the jungle, Locke is teaching Walt how to throw knives at like a knot hole in the tree. And he throws it once and it like doesn't make it. And he's like, damn it, I suck! This is Boone. He's not actually standing behind the tree. He's just kind of like standing kind of like off a little bit watching. Remember, he and Locke are, are buddies. And so Locke's like, before you throw the knife, Walt, won't you see it in your mind's eye? And then all of a sudden he throws the knife and it like sticks in the tree. And he's like, yes! Along comes Michael and he's like, hey, get away from my kid! He tells Walt to, like, run along home, and he goes away. Next, basically, he tells Locke, he's like, you stay away from my kid and me. In a flashback, this is supposed to be baby Walt here, Michael and his girlfriend, Susan, they didn't get married, but they had Walt together. Well, she's a lawyer, and she tells him that she took a job in Amsterdam, and she's going to take Walt with her because he's out of work. He's supposed to be, like, a construction worker or something, and... He's like, there are laws against this. You can't take my son. And she's like, um, I'm going. You're going to have to deal with it. Oh, she, she tells him, you know, we've talked about taking some time apart. And this will give us an opportunity. Michael decides that he really doesn't want to stay on the island anymore. And he comes across Shannon and Jack and Saeed. They're all going over <clears throat> the papers that Rousseau had. And Michael comes along and is like, oh, well, yeah. You guys have another crazy plan about going off into the jungle and getting killed by whatever is out there. Me and my son are getting off this island. And Saeed says, Ha! Oh. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to build a raft, man. And they're all like, you know, like, getting on a raft and go out into the high seas is pretty much suicide. But whatever, you go ahead and build your raft. And Michael goes off and gets Walt. And they, he decides that he's going to go try and get as much of the wreckage that's still out on the beaches to build the raft. In the next flashback, <clears throat> Michael's at a public phone booth out on the streets of New York, and he's trying to call uh, Susan in Amsterdam, and he's like, you know, just put Walt on the phone. He's like, and she says, he's two, he doesn't understand you. He's like, whatever. She's like, well, Michael, I've been meaning to tell you, I've been seeing someone. He's like, what are you talking about? I thought you were just taking the time apart. She says that she's been dating her boss, the guy that she took the job for in Amsterdam, and they're going to be moving to Italy. And he's like, I ain't even going to have that, okay? Let me, let me tell you, I'm coming for my son. And he hangs up on her. And as he walks out into the street, a car comes along and hits him. Yet another flashback. Michael, it's been like two months since Michael's had his accident. And he's recovering in the hospital. And then along comes Susan. And she's like, we need to talk, Michael. And he's like, okay. So she starts pushing him in his little wheelchair. And she says, me and the guy that I'm seeing, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention his name, is Brian. We're going to get married. And he wants to adopt Walt. So basically she's asking him to give up his parental rights to this guy, Brian, that she wants to marry. And then he'll never see his son again, basically. Or never have the right to, I should say. Back on the island, while Walt and Michael were gathering stuff to build the raft, Walt says he's going to go back to the cave to get some water. And he goes and talks to Locke. But Locke is like, Walt, you're not to come around me anymore because... He doesn't tell him this, but he knows it's, you know, Michael really has a problem with him hanging out with him. And he needs to look up to Michael as a father figure. In walks Michael. And he's like, damn it, I told you to stay away from my kid. And Michael comes over and whispers in his ear. He's like, if I catch you near my kid again, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it's probably better that um, uh, Walt stays away from Lot because he's got Boone to play with out in the jungle. So I guess some time passes. They're still in the cave. But then Hurley comes and tells Michael, he's like, dude, your kid just took his dog and, like, took off. And he's like, that's okay. I know where he's going. And he goes out to find Locke in the jungle. And, of course, as always, Boone's with him. 
he says, where is he? Where's Walt? And he's like, well, if you look around, you won't find any small black children, Michael. He's like, but he's not here. Then where is he at? So Locke offers to help Michael find Walt. Elsewhere in the jungle, um, Walt's walking Vincent. I know it's a really bad dog. I'm sorry, guys. He hears something off in the distance. Like Vincent starts barking and growling. And then, like, Vincent takes off. And Walt goes tearing on at, off after him. In the next flashback, we're in Australia. Um, Walt's grown up to be about the age that he is now. And Susan is talking to her husband, Brian. And she's telling Walt, like, you better make sure you do your homework. He's supposed to have, like, his hands, like, propping his head up because he's studying a book. And the book that he's studying is on Australian birds or something. No, it's for sure on Australian birds. I just don't remember the name of the bird that we're talking about. And then suddenly Susan starts feeling, like, really ill. She tells, tells Brian that she feels kind of fluish. And he's like, I need help, I need help, how come you're not helping me? And then, because they're ignoring him, he's like, just kind of stares at them. And then, all of a sudden, this, like, poor bird um, flies and hits the fucking window. I'm sorry. Hits the window. This is supposed to be outside. And then, like, falls to the ground, dead. And they're like, oh my gosh, that bird is dead. Well, if you look really, really closely, the bird that hit the window was the bird that Walt was studying in his book. The next scene is Brian goes to Michael in New York, and he tells him that Susan died. She had a blood disorder or something like that. She was only sick for a week, and she died just the day before. Anyways, he's like, I don't know how to be a father to him, and you've got to come and get him. He's like, what are you talking about? You're the only father that he's known. He's like, he's different. Things happen around him. So, in the last flashback, Michael does go to Australia to go and get Walt. He tells him, I'm your father. And he's like, I'm not going to go anywhere with you. He's like, um, it's not really Brian's choice. That it, it's mine. He's like, but you'll still be able to keep your dog. And he tells him, Vincent isn't my dog. It's Brian's. <laughs> and Michael's like, Brian said you could keep him. Well, remember, Vincent has run off. And Locke and Michael are coming through the jungle, and they hear Walt screaming. And a polar bear is, like, trying to get at him. This is, like, a side view of where Walt is at. He's inside something called, like, I think it's called a banyan tree, and they have all these, like, twigs that kind of grow up in front of, like, the main tree. And so he's, like, back behind a bunch of twigs where the polar bear quite can't reach him. Well, Michael and Locke come along. They're not quite that close to the bear. I just didn't have enough room. And they see that the polar bear is trying to get Walt. And so he was going to, like, go ahead and try and, like, go attack this giant ferocious polar bear, but Locke's like, no, wait. So what they do is they go climb up on a, another tree that's, like, got this big branch that comes all the way over to the place where Walt's at in here. Locke gives Michael a knife, and Michael drops the knife to Walt and tells him to use it on the polar bear if he gets too close. Well, he stabs the polar bear with the knife, and the polar bear runs off. Michael comes down and puts, like, vines around him so that Locke, because remember, he's up in the tree, pulls Walt up and then pulls Michael up and they save him. Well, it's dark time. Michael and Walt are back at the cave and they're all, like, you know, happy father, son, blah, blah. Remember the whistle that Locke made <clears throat> to find Vincent at the beginning of the series? Um, he's out with Boone, of course, to use the whistle, and he's trying to find Vincent. They hear some rustling coming from uh, some bushes. And then, out of nowhere, who walks up? Claire. And that's how the episode ends.